I want to shout the brother out who just landed here last night. He bought some land for me. Shout out to everybody who bought some land for me and transferred your shit over here. They all smiling too. I'm going to say that again. Shout out to everybody who paid for your land while I was in Burkina. Then I spotted some in another part of Africa. Hey, y'all think I see some. I'm going to go check it out. Boom, I come check it out. I make a clear decision within 72 hours of me landing here like, this the Africa I need to be at right here. Now I got a chance to still be who I want to be in life. I, now I got a real chance. To All right, go ahead and respond to that one. Uh, <laughs> again, <laughs> shout out to the brother who bought some land from me when I was in Burkina. All right. When he was in Burkina, he'd not even met me. Shout out to everybody who bought some land from me when I was in Burkina. That was a way, uh, way long. And these people bought land in Burkina Faso. So this idea of him converting his family land to some groups, purchases, and, you know, uh, it's just wishful thinking. You understand? Uh, what else did I... I don't know if you're, you're going to be pausing so I don't forget. He said, everybody is smiling. Are you guys smiling? Investors, are you smiling? <laughs> Who is smiling? Who's in Burkina Faso right now on the land he bought? Can you come out and show us? You've constructed a house. You have a family there, their own. Who's smiling in Kenya? They are all smiling. That's what he said. Go figure. Uh, I don't know if somebody else has anything to say because I've, I'm really just to, to say, um, He does... He does an awful lot of uh, bragging. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> a little too much. Yeah. Uh, Kenny Reactor, you, you want to respond to that? Uh, I don't think Hassan did respond because clearly you could see somebody who's bragging and also somebody who has misplaced opportunities uh, because you could see him actually uh, not even. In like you're not giving a clear uh, explanation on why you're moving to another country, and you're actually hip hopping your your business idea. So for me, I find it to be somebody who has the most opportunity, and also somebody who is bragging too much. Okay, so we're going to go ahead to the next segment. I'll put the scar across my face right now just to be alive. So it ain't the scar that's bad; it's the mental sh that's bad. Imagine if I stayed over there now, I'd become a serial killer because of what happened to me. And now I just want to kill, kill, kill. <laughs> you see the rappers, how they always be. Every video. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I didn't end up a bitter, angry black man bent on revenge only. I want some revenge, but not, a, not at, at my expense. My revenge got to be a gift from God. And he put me in front of these people. Well, I could take it out without the police knowing. That's how you know it's a gift from God. Why? An eye for an eye. Two for two. You shot me. I got the right to shoot you back. God in the Bible. The police. The feds. All that. Well, yeah, JT. The American law is you can't kill anybody. Okay, that's right. I'm gonna just wait till later then. If he live long enough, I'm gonna catch his. I'm going to shoot the f*** out. Right? Okay. Anybody want to respond to that? Because I have no comment. Uh, none also on my end. Like I said, dress it's a locator. The facts speak for themselves. I have nothing further, nothing meanif meaningful to add to this. Actually, uh, I want to say something. You, you actually confess that he has a mental problem. So, right there, he confessed. Okay. Yeah, and he's been struggling something. So, he's actually he's fighting something. There's something that is in, in his mind that he's fighting. And he has actually confessed that. Okay, anything else to add to that? Or is that it? No, that's it, that's it. Okay, now uh, we're going to go to the next segment. Man. Trying to get your land. Yesterday's prices is in today's prices. I'm gonna be saying that May first. So, all the people 
and been talking to me. Get your deposits in. Because on May 1st, a thousand square feet going for two thousand dollars. And that come with free water. If you want to buy on our other land where there ain't no water yet, that would still be one thousand. Yeah, see I start with the smallest piece of land. Can you pause? Sale. And then if you want more, you can negotiate the price. It doesn't allow me to pause on that. That's what feels good about okay. being a land owner. I have the number I'm gonna be posting so that you can call to the guy who running the land. Because whenever you want to go, you can go, visit real quick, go pick out where you want your land at on our land. <clears throat> it's either in the front, it's either in the back, or it's in the middle. I don't know, I think I'm going with the middle. Yeah, that's where my space is going to be, the middle section. Yeah, that way I'm close to the front and I'm close to the water. The water is in the back. <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah, salute. Y'all been tuned in. Oh man, Burundi. Man, look, it's hard times in Africa. Me... All right. <laughs> oh my God. Let me go. Um, me... Okay. Masi, Masi, I want to ask a legal question. I want to ask a little, a little question as I'm getting this. Uh, he actually confessed that he sold the land in fees. Is it allowed to sell land in fees in Kenya? You cannot sell. Can you sell one thousand square feet in Kenya? I, I repeat, you cannot sell square feet on freehold land in Kenya. You may do that in imaginary jurisdictions or in mass or wherever, I don't know. But in Kenya, that cannot happen. He's here actively selling, mentioning that there's a gentleman who is in charge of I don't know what land. There's no mention of Mercy because Mercy actually told him you cannot do this. 1,000 square feet, that's unheard of. I told you that only applies to sectional properties, majorly. And square feet is in leasehold, either land or apartments. You cannot do square feet shenanigans in a freehold parcel. Secondly, what did he say? Yesterday's prices are not today's prices. This is someone who's actively selling. This is someone who's like in the market, advertising and selling. So when he purports to... Um, it, it implicate somebody in his calm saying he knew da, 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 da. am I with you on a stupid live talking about the 1,000 2,000 square feet no so I mean this looks like it's an obsession he has <laughs> dragging my name left right and center but in your own words you can clearly see it was all you and you're talking about some gentleman, I don't know, holding whatever, in charge of the land. I don't know. When you're selling land, you're the one responsible. You cannot assign that obligation to somebody else. I cannot say, I'm selling land, but somebody else is going to show you. That automatically shows that this is a scammer. You see, I have nothing meaningful or useful to add, except for the fact that these facts speak for themselves. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Mercy. What about you, Kenyon Reactor? You're on mute. Uh, that was it. That is the only question I had for, for Mercy and also to react on it. Yeah.